Okay, I'm just going to look with the ultrasound again. So first thing we're going to do is select a branch of the portal vein or even the main portal vein there. So we can see it just here. And there's a branch going superiorly and across inferiorly. So what we're going to do is just aim for the main part of the portal vein there. So that's my finger pressing and that's the angle we're going to go at. So I'm going to put some local anaesthetic into your skin so there'll be a little sharp scratch now. Now we, you can see we're getting down to the capsule. And just stop breathing for a moment for me. And now breathe gently now. So this is essentially like a PTC, but we're going to be using, so we're going to be using this 21 gauge gold stick needle uh, to access the portal vein and with a, with a 018 guide wire and then the rest of the gold stick is going to go in over that. So I'm just going to look at the portal vein again. Happy with that angle. We're going to pop the 21 gauge needle through the skin. So a bit of pushing now. Okay. So it's going to line the two up. So we've got a view there. And that should be straight into the portal vein there. There, we've got a good view of it in the portal vein. So it's going to pop the ultrasound down now. Take the central bit out. We'll need to check with some contrast that we're in the right place. Thank you. So I can see I'm actually getting blood back through that needle now. So we're certainly in a vascular structure. Okay, we'll just screen the tip of the needle. Contrast going in. And that looks to be portal vein. And let's have the guide wire now, please. So this is an 018 wire that comes with a gold stick. We're just going to pass this in through the needle and hopefully this is just going to fly down the portal vein. It's probably going to go into branches along its way. Right, okay, so we've got the supportive part of the guide wire in and I'm going to take the rest of the gold stick now, please. So I'm just going to pop that on the trolley. Thank you, I've got that. Are you okay there? It's going to be some pushing. Apologies if it's a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, so we're just going to advance that forward. And once we've got to that point, we can actually loosen the metal bit and advance it further. That's gone into the portal vein. I'm now just going to leave the outer bit there. And we can leave our guide wire in for the moment just to check We've got some flow back through there and we're getting venous blood out of there. We can take the guide wire out. We'll put some contrast in, check our position and then we'll manipulate this down into the main part of the portal vein. So we've gone into a little branch there. So we're just going to pull that back. So I'll take the Benson wire, please. And we'll have that vector two catheter and the slippy wire as well. I think, thank you. So I'm just advancing this Benson wire in now, which actually, okay, we don't need the vector catheter. Actually, the, the wire's looped over and gone down the portal vein. So actually, we can now advance this. And that should be down to the main part of the portal vein. We'll take the wire out and we'll just do a little run there. If I could give you the Benson wire, please. Thank you. and breathe away. So we've got good access there down the main part of the portal vein. So what I'm going to do now is exchange over the Benson wire for a seven French sheath, which will give us better flow to infuse the islet cells. So the Benson wire is just going in. And are we ready with, we're ready with the sheath? We've got plenty of wire in. Gold sticks coming out, and we'll pop the sheath in. 
Okay, that's a bit of pushing now. Well done. Just going to screen that sheath in. Okay, just going to take the inner bit of the sheath out. Now I'm going to leave the wire in because if you leave the wire in, it helps to keep the end of the sheath off the wall of the portal vein and you actually get better flows of the eyelet cells. So if we just take that off, thank you. We're just going to reconfirm our position with contrast and then we're ready for the eyelet cell infusion. Okay, so in the main portal vein, what we'll need to do now is just measure the portal venous pressures before we infuse the eyelet cells. Okay, so we've now zeroed our CVP pressure, which is measuring the portal venous pressure. We've got that zeroed. We're now going to open this to the patient. So I had it open to air. So we zeroed to air. We're now going to open the patient and get some portal venous pressure readings. And we're getting a pressure of 14. So portal venous pressure prior to the infusion is 14 millimeters of mercury. Okay. So we're now going to close that again, disconnect without moving the pressure sensor to a different level, and we're ready for the infusion of the eyelet cells. Just coming into the larger bowl. Okay, we've got bubbles coming out the end here. Okay, I'll take that end. I can lower that down again. Right, okay. Just want to get rid of that air bubble. There we go. Right, so we're open now. We're open, okay. Okay, so we've got an uninterrupted flow. Okay, so we're infusing the eyelets in a steady flow using whiteboard tube connected up to the infusion site. And um, we want to ensure that we're not having clumping uh, in the um, ports so that we're keeping the eyelets moving and infusing under gravity. It's nice to see that a transplant surgeon still has a role in this procedure. Very much so. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is just cut some gel foam or sponges stand to make a couple of pledgets to plug the hole from our seven French sheath at the end of the procedure. It just reduces the chances of any hemorrhage post-procedure. I must admit, cutting the gel foam is a very satisfying thing to do. That was a, probably a little bit long, so we're just going to shorten them down. And then we're just going to roll them. And I'm going to insert them into the seven French sheath with a, a little bit of guide wire housing that I'm going to cut off. And as long as it's small enough, I'll just pop into the end of the sheath and allow me to push these into the sheath. So I'm just going to put the gel foam pledger into the bit of wire housing. And um, if I've made it small enough, it will just go in. So you rotate it. That's that one loaded. So you know we can push that into the sheath with the end of the gold stick. And then once it's in the sheath, through the housing, we can use the central part of the sheath to push it towards the end. So that's all the wash through. So that's the last bit coming through as the air at the top. So we'll just follow it all the way down and when it gets to the end of the tubing, we'll just turn the sheath valve off. After that, we'll flush and we'll check the portal pressures again. There it comes. Right, that's through. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Very you. you can have that end. And uh, we'll give it a flush. Get the very last bit in. 
check our position hasn't changed and the sheath's in exactly the same position. So what we'll do now is we'll just recheck the portal venous pressures. So we'll connect up to the pressure gauge. We don't need to re-zero. Um, we'll open to the patient, nothing's changed. Okay, so the portal venous pressure is 15. So it's gone from 13 to 15 after infusion of the islets. Okay, we'll turn that sheath off, disconnect our pressure gauge. And now what we're going to do is plug the tract. Um, there is a risk of hemorrhage after this procedure. We've had a seven French sheath in here. The patient will be anticoagulated and is anticoagulated from the heparinized solution infused with the islets. So we're going to place this gel foam plug. First thing I'm going to do is take my guide wire out. And could I have some neat contrast to load the sheath with, please? So I'm going to load the sheath with neat contrast, and that way I can see the pledget as negative contrast as I, inf as I inject it. So it's going to move the table a little bit so we can see nearer the edge of the liver. Now we're loaded with contrast. I'm going to take the inner bit of the gold stick. I've got my pledget here. We're just going to pop that through the valve, insert the pledget into the sheath. And now we're going to push it forward with the inner bit of the sheath. And we should see that as a radiolucency. So at the moment, the sheath's in the portal vein. So what I need to do is pull the sheath all the way back. I'm just going to keep my pledget where it is. So a bit of pulling and pushing. You can see three coils from previous islet cell transplantations. I'm just going to pop that pledget out there. And I'm going to put another pledget in. So I have my second pledget, thank you. Having loaded that, I'm just going to pop that into the sheath again. I'm going to push the pledget forward. And then we're going to push it with the inner part of the sheath again. And I'm just going to take my sheath back. And that's the pledget in place. And that's the procedure finished. All we'll do now is we'll just clean the skin and pop a little dressing on. Okay, done.